Yeah. Yeah, good morning, this is Bang Bang Ray. Well, I am going to change my name, but uh, not at this minute. Um, yeah, I was talking about yesterday about me being a kid and being abused, but there's a little bit more. My mate, my mate Alex, uh, phoned me yesterday. Another guy called Alex Jones phoned me uh, yesterday and, and told me a few things uh, about this, that, and the other. And, um, and, and I'll tell you a little story happened, yeah? I used to walk up from my house, yeah? I used to go and pick my mate Alex Phillips up, because I told Alex about his story, he told me, yeah? And um, I used to pick my mate uh, Alex Phillips up and just go up per, per, a place called Perring Road, going, going over the bridge to our school, uh, John Perrin, yeah? But before we used to go there, um, me and him together, it was, it was an old boy on a wheelchair, uh, was sitting outside his house. And I remember that he, he, he used to call me over, to sit there and he used to touch, touch in my leg and touch in my private parts, you know? And I don't forget, I've already been sexually abused as a child. It's already gone through my head. I'm about now nine, ten, and you know, and he's taking the piss, mate. He's, um, you know, I'm letting him do this and do that, and I'm fucking fuming. But I'm a young kid. I don't really know what to do about it yeah? So I ain't gonna tell no one. Is it? But only fellow I told my mate Alex. And uh, anyway, and uh, anyway, we go. We're walking down the road, and it happens. He pulls me over. I mean, my friend, and he, he go, come on, pull away, pull, pulls me away. And uh, we decided to fucking um, make, it our, make it our thing to, to, to sort this guy out, yeah? And don't forget, we're only 10, and then 11, there's about five or six of us, yeah? All together with my mates. And uh, we all got together, and uh, this old boy sitting outside his house, and we're all playing the games, and all we need to come, come in my place, and... And all we go, okay, okay, we take him in the wheelchair, we get in his fucking, in his, in his place and we batter him. We smash him to pieces, we bash him up, we're 10 years of age, 10, you know, like, and he's not, we can't allow it now, we can't allow this to happen no more. And we bash him up, we bash him up really, really bad, we nick all his money out of his purse, he's got your purse, nick his money out, and we run out, you know. Uh, he can't call the police, he can't do nothing, we know that. And, and he, we, he never, ever, was outside his place of again. But then we decided as kids, yeah, we're 10, and we to, to see if we can do it again. We see if we can find people like that, yeah? To see if we can find people that hang around schools and people like this who, who, who want to call people, kids over. And in them days, it seemed to be a thing that used to happen all the time. And anybody that, that done it, um, to, to my, my mates, there's five of us, we used to sort it out, yeah? And this is really how I started my uh, being a vendetta in a way, yeah, and, 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 and being vendettas and getting people back what they've done, to, but, but what they've done to me, yeah, and um, and and when you start doing these sort of things, yeah, being you know a big vendetta, I've got to get back to you what you've done, and hurting people that you know that, that, that mucking about the kids, finding out about other kids, and we're ten, eleven years of age, and we're fucking a little, we're we're a little, we're a little gang. We, we ain't allowing it, you know what I mean? And uh, my mate was telling me about it the day, and I thought I'd put it on my podcast. I don't, I did, I did remember bits and pieces, but not as long as what he told me, uh, how, how, how he was going about things and going over the parks, uh, and you know, two or three of us walking by, old old men, all these sort of things, and the old boys sit down and, and all this and, and talking about filth, and then these people that get obliged, these people that get obliged, by us, you, you're only young. But a lot of you can do a lot of damage, yeah? You can do a lot of damage. You're all hitting people with, with whatever you can pick up, you know? And why should they get away with it, you know what I mean? And it's gone through my life. This has happened through my life. Things have happened in prison where I've really, really hurt people who have been sex offenders to children and them sort of things and to girls and all that, you know? But obviously, that's going to go through my life and I'll, I'll show you more about these things. And, uh, you know, so me, Matt, Alex Phillips and all that, we was, we was good pals. And we used to stick together, you know, and any anybody like that that used to hurt kids in any sexual way, they'd be in trouble. You know, didn't want to get involved with mums and dads hitting their boys because that's mums and dads in them days. It is a thing that happened all the time. You know, mums and dads would always clump their kids. You know, this is a part of growing up. This is why a, a, a lot of kids today are walking around stabbing people and also them being sex abused in other, other ways, yeah? And the kids come from other countries and all this that. No, but a lot of it is that 
parents don't chastise their kids like they used to chastise them, you know. And they used to battle us, you know what I mean? But you've got a lot of respect. You learn respect from mum and dads. You know, when mum and dads were like, was on it, mate, you was in trouble. You know, there's no point in going to school and saying, oh, I've got bashed up by my mum or got bashed up by my dad or my stepfather or whatever it will be, yeah? Um, and don't forget, when they did bash you up, they bash you up. They bash you up proper. And this was what made us the people we are. You know, we was very strong, strong kids. You know, today they're very weak. Mums and dads can't do this because they're going to tell, tell whatever they're going to tell. Mum hit me, dad hit me. It's come on, it's, it's terrible, you know. And you respect your mum. You respect your dad more so net then than you are today. And mums and dads were, were, were the, the backbone. And I was more fighting my mum than I was my dad. You know, my stepdad was a nice, you know, I mean, you know, wasn't a weak man, but my mum was the one. She was a powerful, powerful woman. You couldn't get away with anything with my mum, mate. And I, everyone, we, we all loved my mum to death, but you knew not to take the piss. You know, you took the piss up, you took the piss, you'd get bashed up. And my mate Alex Phillips, his mum was very, very soft, but his dad was very, very hard. When you went to the house, yeah, and you knocked the door, you had to walk away from the door and sort of stand back. Is Alex there, please? Why, what's up? Well, he can't play. Listen, he ain't going to play with you like today. Go away, go on, go, shush, shush off. And I was wait around the corner, Alex is climbing through the window, and we'd all meet and we'd run over the park. And and uh, Alex, his mate, used to, uh, his dad was a caretaker in his, in, in his big grounds, yeah, in his big grounds in Acton. And I forget, I forget, uh, I forget, I forget it was called Acton Grounds or something like that. And uh, he had a gun, yeah, he used to shoot. Wood pigeons and all that, you know what I mean? And uh, he looked like a fucking mad man. He was mad. He said, oh, Come on, we'll fucking shoot these guys. We'll shoot these guys that what, muck about the kids and all that. I said, No, we can't go that far. You start killing people. You know what I mean? We're only like 10, 11 years of age. You know what I mean? He wants to start shooting people. I went, No, you can't do that. You know what I mean? And he said, Come on, the guy. He had a big fucking knives and all that in, in them days. You know, he's there to run this place and he could get older than he wanted to get older. You know what I mean? But no, I'm not into that. And it, sometimes it's a bit dangerous going out of him, uh, looking for these sort of people, because his place was next door to Acton Park. And we used to go, Acton Park was, was, was the grounds for us to, to walk around. Uh, sometimes we, we used to go to Gunsby Park. Uh, and as many parks, South Acton Park, Northfields Park, all around in parks, looking for these old bosses. You know, like 10, 11, and you don't care. And you're growing up, and you're growing up. You really got to remember you. I've been sex abused really, really bad, and it made me fucking made me become a man very quick. A lot of these other boys have been sex abused by whoever they've been sex abused, with, and they become proper men, proper hard people that want to hurt people that do this to other kids. It's normal, you know. But imagine, imagine. If it was like I'm not 16, 17, 18 years of age, you'd be killing people. But, you know, you do when you get in prison, it's a different thing. But out on the road, it was just sit together. It was like a little gang. A little gang, really. It was a proper little gang, you know. Well, like, one, that felt like once upon a time in America. You've seen it, and they all stick together. That's what we was like, you know. And uh, obviously, they had kids there that were bully kids, and we used to run away from them and hide. And then come back later and bash a couple up and run away and, and them sort of things. You know, that film brought back memories. Once upon a time in America, that was sort of what we was like that as kids. I mean, I, a lot a lot of my mates, a lot of my mates when we used to go to school, John Perrin, you know, we was like stickers, yeah. My brother Keith, uh, he was a lot older than me. Uh, he didn't get really get involved in anything. He didn't know anything that we was up to. Um... We was always uh, little fuckers, you know, little breaking into shops and, and things like that and, 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 you know, doing silly things, but as kids do, and we become a little gang. We become a little gang that was looking for f these paedophiles. We didn't know they was called paedophiles in them days. We didn't know what paedophile meant. But now, obviously, we know what they are, paedophiles, and we were looking for them, yeah? And we were looking for the people that just play around with kids' willies and all them sorts of things, and they ain't getting away with it, mate. They ain't getting, to, getting people to sit in their laps and play around them. They ain't getting away with it. We ain't letting people to get away with it. 10, 11, who gives a fuck how old we are? Who gives a fuck how old we are? We ain't letting people get away with that. Doing these things to, to us, you know, and to other kids, you know. This is part of 
grown up and we grow up very very fast and become a gang you know we become a gang and um, you're walking around together and, and, and it doesn't matter believe me five to ten year old kids of a little gang is a, is, a, is a bit of a handful I don't give a monkey's money we were a handful and uh, we didn't really give a fuck about other people you know and and you got to remember that I went through a lot in my life being sexually abused. And my mum molly coddled me after all this. She loved me to death and all this. It got work, you know. Mum was mum always worried about you, where you're going, what you're doing. You know, she worries about people, what's going to happen to you and all that. And but mum don't really know what we're up to. <laughs> mum don't know that we're little fuckers, skullduggery. And listen, round the corner from us, round the corner from my house in a place called Shaw Road. Near Shaw Road, uh, there was a bridge that goes over, uh, over to the other side, um, and we used to plot up around that, them areas, that, them areas, and do old boys, <laughs> do, <laughs> do these old boys, yeah. But they might not be old; they might be fifty years, sixty years of age, you know. But like we didn't, all the old boys was trying to bash many old boys and nick their wallets and their money. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that is what we used to do. I uh, loved it, mate. I loved it, and. Um, then you move on a little bit in your life, yeah, you move on. Um, and then I'd say that I was going over the fair a lot as a kid, uh, doing all sorts of jobs and bits and pieces and down at blacksmiths. And, you know, we, I, I become a proper handful as a child, you know. My mum, my brothers and sisters, I was a fucker. I was always fighting, I was always fighting. Never stopped, never stopped fighting. I love fighting. I loved it. As a kid, I love fighting as a kid. Today, it'd be more dangerous because of knives and other things. But in them days, I don't care. We didn't care. We didn't care about whatever. We didn't care about monkeys. We didn't care, you know. We just was strong, big kids. And 10, 11 years of age as a gang. Okay? Um, I just wanted to let you know that the old boy that played around with me um, at the top of the road with a wheelchair, um, he had it coming to him, yeah? He had it coming to him, and what he been sexually abused? And obviously, so after that, um, my mind had gone a bit cranky. I was always fighting at school. I was always getting hit by the headmaster, Kane, Mr. Woolley, and all that little firm went run across there with a chair. Um, I got expelled from school, suspended, expelled. My mum went crazy. I was always getting suspended and expelled. Always, always, always. Always went to different schools. I was never at school. I was always with my mates. <laughs> we was always getting out of school, always at school and doing what we had to do, yeah? Uh, please like and subscribe my uh, my podcast. It's only a silly little one, but it's about um, people that, as kids, we become kids that didn't, didn't like these paedophiles. And we ain't standing for it. We ain't standing for it. We become a little enforce, enforcer firm that, you know, and, and, and when we done what we had to do, uh, you know, I mean, people today, if they had the same idea as what we had, these people would be doing this, what they do today with, with these kids anyway. Have a nice day. Um, it's still cloudy. I don't think we can ever have any sun. It seems to me that um, someone's mucking about the weather. And anyway, have a nice day. Like and subscribe, and thank you for my channel, yeah? Take care, yeah? Bye-bye.